Long time no chat. <laughs> <gasps> Hello guys, what is up? It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a quick second. By quick, I mean almost a year since I've uploaded my last video. And I don't really have any excuse or explanation other than I've been in school and working. And unfortunately, YouTube can't pay the bills. So that kind of got put on the back burner until I was able to pick it up again. And I thought, what better way to do a sort of relaunch than to redo my first video, which was my vinyl record collection. The difference between that video and this video is that video had like 50 records, and this one has over 100. So sit back, grab your snacks, get ready to push the fast forward button a lot because this is probably going to be boring in some areas <laughs> me down talks my own videos but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions or want to know anything else about the records i have or want to talk music hit me up in the comments or on twitter or any social medias and yeah hope you guys enjoy so starting off i have alt j's and awesome wave Next, I have the Haunt EP by Bastille. I got this from a VNYL or vinyl box about two years ago. I love this as a huge Bastille fan. I actually have a tattoo from a song that is on this EP, so it means a lot to me. Next, I have Bastille's Remixed, which is a collection of remixes of songs off their first album. I don't listen to this that often, but I got it for $10, so as a Bastille fan, it's cool to have it in my collection. Next, I have Bon Iver's Blood Bank EP. And I also have this classic Rainy Day record, Bon Iver's For Emma Forever Ago. Next, I have Disney's Alice in Wonderland. This is a storybook and song vinyl. So basically, it has like this little book attached to it from illustrations from the movie, along with a reading of it and the songs from the movie, which I think is super cool. You could get this on the Disney Emporium, Music Emporium website or at Disneyland. And along with that, I also have the Alice in Wonderland picture disc. Um, one side is the, the Tea Party, and then the other side is the Cheshire Cat. And I also have the Jungle Book soundtrack. Those are two of my favorite Disney movies. Next, I have Alt-J's This Is All Yours. A little fun fact about this is the standard pressing of this, and I'm not sure if like some of these variants are more rare than the others but basically you could either get blue red yellow orange or green and every copy would come with two vinyl and you could get any of those colors which i think is super cool and really unique i've never seen another artist do this with their packaging before next i have bleacher's latest record gone now this on the website is labeled as a limited edition red and white marbled vinyl but i'm pretty sure this is the standard pressing and it's not super limited edition you could still purchase this online next is bad sons language and perspective i have two different variants of this one is the teal pressing which is the one year anniversary pressing and is sold out and the other one is the yellow pressing you can still find this online i think they labeled it as limited edition but you can still purchase it so how limited is it <laughs> Along with that, I also have Bad Sun's newest album, Disappear Here. This is the clear pressing that was limited to, I think, either 300 or 500. And the only way to get this was pre-ordering the album. And I also have Bastille's Wild World. This is the Amazon exclusive pressing, and I know that this is still available on Amazon. Next, I have Bourne's first album, Dopamine. I picked this up on a show. It's on black vinyl. Next, I have this Bourne live at KCRW Morning Because Electric Record Store Day 2016 exclusive. It's on clear vinyl. It's basically just a bunch of acoustic songs off his first album.
Next, I have KG Elephants, Tell Me I'm Pretty, Coldplay's A Rush of Blood to the Head, Also, I have, this is probably one of my favorite parts of my collection. This is Coldplay's Parachute on this Barnes & Noble exclusive orange vinyl. I found this in stores like a long time after it was pressed, and but I know you cannot find it online. I also have Coldplay's X and Y. Next, I have A Day to Remember's Homesick. This is my favorite A Day to Remember album. I don't really listen to this kind of music on my record player, but it's still a cool addition to have. Next, I have Day Waves, Headcase, and Hard to Read EP. These are two separate EPs that were put together on one vinyl to be sold. I think this is super cool. Next, I have Disney's Favorite Songs, which is a Record Store Day 2016 exclusive. It has songs from like The Jungle Book, Cinderella, Tangled, Frozen. I love it. Next, I have Father John Misty's I Love You Honey Bear. As you can see, it has a super cool pop-up book style um, gatefold to it. This is limited edition, and unfortunately, you cannot get it on the website, but I looked around. You could purchase this pretty easily. I love the colors on this. Both the records are a tricolor, and the pink one is definitely my favorite. Now let's move on to my 7 inches. Starting off, I have Foster the People's Ruby 7 inch. One side is Ruby and the other side is Broken Jaw on this beautiful translucent orange vinyl. This is a 2012 Record Store Day exclusive and the cool thing about this is me and my friend found it in our record store just like looking through about last year which was super cool to find. Next I have Bastille's Good Grief single. One side is the original and one side is called The Bunker Session which is like an acoustic-y version. Next, I have the XX on hold. One side is the song, and the other side is this super cool, let's see if we can see it, this like etched of an X. This, you can literally still find this online for $5. I love it, it's super cool. Next, I have Bleachers I Wanna Get Better 7 inch. This was a Record Store Day 2014 exclusive, limited to 1,000. I found it on Depop. It is pretty easy to find if you'd like to add it to your collection. I love this translucent blue color. I don't have anything quite like it, so I love this and I love this song. Next, I have Bastille's Comfort of Strangers. This was a UK 2017 Record Store Day exclusive. One side is Comfort of Strangers and the other side is Warmth. I bought this on eBay like the day after Record Store Day. To add to my collection of hard to find UK Record Store Day exclusives, I have Bastille's 2016 Record Store Day exclusive, which was Hanging. One side is Hanging and the other side is Overload. One of the songs was on um, FIFA and the other one was in a movie. I'm not sure which was which. And next is my all time prized possession. All three variants of Tonight Alive's Consider This EP. These were only available at a show in Australia or online in 2012, and each color was limited to 500. One is blue, one is red, and one is green. This red is kind of weird to me because it's not like red, it's more of a like dusty color, but the green is definitely my favorite for how vibrant these are. I purchased this on eBay as a pack for about $40 each, which was awesome because they usually go for around $100 each. Next, I have Muse's Reapers. This was a 2016 Record Store Day exclusive. One side is the live version of the song and the other side is the recorded. Now on to my 10 inches. I have Fall Out Boy's Save Rock and Roll. This is the standard pressing on this really cool translucent red vinyl. Next, I have Daughters His Young Heart EP.
And I also have the Wild Youth EP. Both of these were purchased on Amazon and you could still find them. Next, I have Andrew McMahon's In the Wilderness, The Canyons EP. This is basically like acoustic reimagined songs off their first album on this beautiful orange marbly like vinyl. This was a Record Store Day 2016 exclusive limited to 1,500 copies. Next, I have the Moana 2017 Record Store Day exclusive picture disc. One side with Moana on it is How Far I'll Go, and the other side is You're Welcome. Next, I have the Who Killed Matt Mason EP by Matt Mason on this wonderful, beautiful pink vinyl that I think fits the aesthetics so well. This is one of my favorite discoveries of 2017, so if you have not heard of this dude, please go look him up. His songs are just so beautiful and inspiring and just wonderful. Please, please, please go listen to him. Next, I have Frost of the People's Torches. I also have Glass Animals, How to Be a Human Being. I also have Glass Animals, Zaba. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I butcher any of these names. And I also have Imagine Dragons, Night Visions. Next, I have Joy Wave's How Do You Feel EP. Khalid's American Teen. Hot Fuss by The Killers. This is the 2017 repress, so it's just on black vinyl and it's new. The Lumineers self-titled album. Magic Man's Before the Waves. Mumford and Sons Sign No More. Panic at the Disco's Death of a Bachelor. Please no one attack me for this being the only Panic at the Disco album I have in my collection. Paramore's self-titled album. Next, I have Walt Disney's Peter Pan Stories and Songs. This is basically the same format as the Alice in Wonderland soundtrack that I showed you, but it is... I'm not sure if this is like original original, but it's definitely old. <laughs> Next I have S. Carey's Supermoon EP. This is, I'm not sure what he plays, but he plays in Bonnie Beer and this is his side project. Next, I have Salt by Shy Girls. I got this in a Vinyl Monkey box, and that is why it is signed on the back. Very smart, black on black. Also, I have Some People Have Real Problems by Sia. This is a repress. I think it came out last year when they repressed all of her old albums. Next, I have Sia's Spotify Sessions. This, is, this was a Record Store Day 2017 exclusive. Next, I have Switchfoot's Where the Light Shines Through. Next, I have Taishi's Crawl Space. I probably butchered that name because I always forget how to pronounce it, so I apologize. Next, I have Tonight Alive's The Other Side. This was limited to 500, but crazy enough, you were able to buy it like two or three years after the record was released, which was when I bought it, and then like a couple months later, it sold out, which I'm happy I have it. It's my favorite Tonight Alive record. Next, I have Walk the Moon's You Are Not Alone. This was a live album from Record Store Day 2016. 
Next, I have the XX ICU. I love the packaging on this, like the single. It is this like mirror reflective surface and the whole packaging is like that, which is super cool. Check out my really professional filming setup. <laughs> Next, I have Foster the People's newest album, Sacred Hearts Club. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive on this beautiful pink color. Unfortunately, you cannot get this anymore. I'm not sure how limited it was, but I know it is hard to find. People even reselling it, so I'm sorry. Please still listen to this album. It is an awesome album, and I do not think it got the credit that it deserved. Next, I have Group Love's Little Mess EP. This was a Record Store Day 2017 exclusive that I picked up on Record Store Day on this awesome teal vinyl. And then next, I have Halsey's Badlands on the standard pink pressing. And I also have Halsey's Hopeless Fountain Kingdom on the standard pressing, which is this blue marbled color, translucent. I don't even know how to describe it. It's beautiful. Next, I have Imagine Dragons Evolve. This is the standard clear pressing. Along with that, I also have Imagine Dragons' second album, Smoke and Mirrors. This is the deluxe version, which is why it's on clear vinyl, and it basically just has all of the deluxe songs that came with like the target edition i think or something on this vinyl which i love those songs are so good and so underappreciated next i have john billions the human condition this is also the standard pressing which is also clear and i pre-ordered this when it got announced which is why i was lucky enough to get it signed. Next, I have Joseph's I'm Alone, No You're Not. This is a standard pressing, which is this translucent blue color. It's not showing up on camera, but it's a lot darker than it is on camera. I have the mains American Candy. This is limited to 500 and it is the bubblegum pink color which was sold on the website. Fortunately for me, I was able to pick this up at the 8123 Festival pop-up shop last year. Along with that, I also have the mains Lovely Little Lonely. This was also limited to 500 and the only way to get it was to pre-order it on the website when the album was announced and it is this beautiful half magenta half black color. Next I have the deluxe version of Paris's White Noise. This says it's limited edition but I'm almost positive you could still get this. It came with a 7 inch but I sold it because I needed the money. I love this album. I love this pressing. This beautiful white blue cloudy color. And then next I have a Monsters and Men's my head is an animal and this is the standard pink pressing. Next, I have the Nervous Energy EP by Saint South. Saint South is an indie artist from Australia who is super, super talented. Please, please, please check him out. I love this pressing, this beautiful white color. It's one of the nicest white vinyl that I have.
Next, I have Switchfoot's The Beautiful Letdown on Blue Vinyl. This was limited to 1000 and released in 2014. And the funny story about this is I purchased this at Amoeba Records in LA for $10. <laughs> Next, I have Tonight Alive's Limitless. This is the standard pressing, this clear vinyl. It is the nicest clear vinyl I have. If you can't tell, I have way too many clear vinyl. I do not want another clear vinyl in my life ever again, but I had to make an exception for my fav one of my favorite bands. <laughs> Next, I have the newest addition to my collection, which is Tonight Alive's Underworld. This is the white marbled pressing that was limited to, I think, 500. You could still purchase this on their web store. This album is amazing. It only came out like a couple weeks ago, and I've been listening to it nonstop. If you're wondering what I've been listening to lately, please check out this album and please support this band. They are doing wonderful things with their platform. Next, I have 21 Pilots Blurry Face on the split red and black vinyl. You can still purchase this on Feel by Ramen's website. Next, I have 21 Pilots Vessel. This is the standard clear pressing, and along with that, I also have the red pressing, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, and I was lucky enough to get this when they restocked it like a year ago, I'd say, but unfortunately, you cannot find this anymore. Next, I have Waters' What's Real on the standard blue pressing. A fun fact about this one is it was the first record that I ever purchased. I saw them live in February of 2016, and I saw that this vinyl was this beautiful blue color, and for some reason it inspired me to go out and buy a record player, and it has been a downward spiral since then. <laughs> Next, I have probably one of the most unique pressings I have in this my collection. This is the soundtrack from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and of course, it is on gold vinyl. I think this is so fitting. I love this. These next couple records I received from subscription boxes, so I'm not, I don't know a ton about the artist or the album, so I apologize. This first one is the Blow self titled album. I do love this pressing, it is this beautiful, super cool highlighter green yellow color. Next, I have Avid Dancers. I think this is a self-titled album. I don't even know the album title. This is how bad I am at collecting records, but it is on the super cool opaque splattered red vinyl. Next, I have Fool Fool's Gold Flying Lessons on this cool orange vinyl. Can I stop saying the word cool? I'm pretty sure I've said it like 100 times in this video already. I am so sorry. I've also said sorry like 40 times, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Next, I have Real Friends, The Home Inside My Head on this smoky black clear cloudy vinyl. They described it as black with white clouds. It was limited to 500. I'm pretty sure you could still find this if you wanted it. Next, I have Young Prisms in Between on White Vinyl. Next, I 
Next, I have Silhouette by, I'm definitely going to butcher this, but I think it's Aquilo, Aquilo, I'm not sure. Next, I have something called Divine Fits by Divine Fits. <laughs> Next, we have Ryan Adams, 29. I think this is pronounced Seol. I became a shade. I'm sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> Next, I have Don't You Worry, Honey by Sir Sly. This is the Urban Outfitters album art exclusive my wonderful friend adam bought this for me for christmas thank you so much adam if you're watching i love that record so 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 much next we have stranger things volume 2 on again i don't know how to describe this smoky cloudy splattery vinyl this is like the standard pressing for this one i know they pressed this soundtrack on a lot of different pressings but i think this one is like the easiest or the most pressed Next, we have Local Native Sunlit Youth. I love the packaging on this album. It is clear to begin with, which you know how I feel about clear, but it's fine. I think it fits the aesthetic really well. And then it has a bunch of these super cool, awesome art prints and photographs from when they were recording the album. And fun fact that I think they wrote or recorded this album in Nicaragua. Next, we have Blurry Fates Live by 21 Pilots. This was recorded during the Blurry Face tour in 2015 at the Fox Feeder in California, I think Northern California. These are all picture discs, and this was a gift from my parents for Christmas in 2016. So, Mom, Dad, if you're watching this, I love you. Thank you. Um, future note to myself, I need to frame these. I will say, I love this album, I love that I have this, and I was fortunate enough to get it because I do not think you could get this anymore, but the way they package this with three LPs in it, it is way too heavy to be fit sitting on my shelf, so I definitely want to frame these because they are just works of art. They belong in a museum. <laughs> Next, we have Young and the Giant, Home of the Strange. This is not the standard pressing. I'm not sure how limited this is or like where it was sold, but I actually got this on tour when I saw them last year, which I thought was super cool because you cannot find this pressing anymore. And I love the combination of the white and the pink and the blue. I think it is beautiful. Next, we have Sia's Color of the Small Ones. This again was a part of when they repressed all of her old albums. And I love that this is on white vinyl. I think it is so pretty and fitting, and I love it. And last but not least, to end this journey, we have Paramore's After Laughter on the standard gray marble vinyl. <laughs> 